Dinosaurs, scaly reptiles or feathered friends. Preserved tail feathers in amber dating back to 100 million years ago during the Mesozoic, known as the Age of the Dinosaurs, has shown that they compare very closely to bird tail feathers found today. Scientists have now linked a group of dinosaurs called the theropods to modern day birds, in particular a carnivorous group called the Sarsicians, which had downward facing pelvises. But how and why? Dinosaurs similar to the T-Rex begin to develop feathers and evolve into birds as we know them today. The breakthrough discoveries of first Archaeopteryx in the late 1800s and then Sinusraptrix in the 1990s confirmed that some dinosaurs had feathers or a dino fuzz present on their bodies. The significance of Archaeopteryx in the late 1800s complemented Charles Darwin's The Origin of Species and has been seen in pop culture like The Simpsons where world-renowned paleontologists an evolutionary biologist, Stephen Jay Gould, makes a guest appearance in the episode Lisa the Skeptic. Initially, it is believed that these feathers developed for insulation, then eventually evolved for flight, but it is also thought that they may have had uses for camouflage and sexual selection. The discovery of well-preserved articulated Sinostroptrix fossils with bristle-like feathers have suggested these may have been an early form of feather used for insulation. Nearly all of these Sinusroptrix fossils were found in the Yixan Formation in northern China and dated back to the Atchin in the early Cretaceous, 125 million years ago. Oxygen isotope fractionation of the Yixan Formation shows that rocks were enriched in oxygen 18, suggesting that the Earth was experiencing a cooler, drier climate than usual at the time of burial, backing up the evidence that these bristle-like feathers were needed for insulation. The discovery of melasomes, a pigmentation within the feathers used to help absorb heat, was confirmation for many scientists that these bristle structures were early forms of feathers, primarily for insulation. Patterns in these bristles from melasomes have emerged and have spurred the idea of selection and camouflage. The discovery of Archaeopteryx in Solnhofen, Germany, in 1861 remains one of the most important dinosaur fossil discoveries to date. Preserved in a state of Lagerstätten, the remains provide us with one of the only direct pieces of evidence that pertain to the habitat as well as the mode of life of the earliest stages of avian evolution. It is believed that the feathers of Archaeopteryx were not initially designed for full flight, but more so developed in as a means of regulating body heat. These initial proto-feathers were individually weak, but together formed a strong airfoil. Archaeopteryx also showed signs of limbs designed for flight too, although it is believed that it may have been more of a glider rather than a sustained flyer due to the presence of its long heavy tail and carnivorous teeth. However, the specimen did have hollow bones and feathers developed for lift. One study used x-rays to examine the narrowest parts of the wing bones to calculate what sort of torsion and resistance these bones would have had. Torsional force is the force used when wringing a towel and is similar to the force exerted on birds' wings during flight. This force was compared to 55 modern birds, two crocodilians, and two species of pterosaurs. The best match was with some of the modern-day birds that fly via short bursts or glide, such as quails and pheasants. Dimorphism is believed to have existed in a world where the females chase tails and not the males. The Sarsician's theropods are one of the main dinosaur species with a good number of studies supporting this dimorphism and sexual selection theory. The study of oviraptor fossils in Mongolia showed that males had larger blade-like bones which jut down from the vertebrae near the base of the tail and provide attachment for muscles and tendons to anchor the muscles that control their flexible feathered tip tails. It is suspected male oviraptors shook their tail feathers in intricate displays to woo potential mates, similar to peacocks today. A preserved brooding oviraptor and her nest shows how maternal care was an important part of dinosaur survival, which feathers played their part in too. Not only would the feathers provide warmth and insulation for the eggs while the mother was brooding, but there is growing evidence that females and chicks had a duller appearance than that of their male counterparts, which is believed to have served as a means of camouflage from predators. Sinusroptrix, 
which we discussed earlier, has very apparent patterns of menosomes preserved along its tail and spinal feathers, as well as banded-type stripes across its eyes, which is seen in today's scavengers like raccoons. This countershaded pattern with a dark back and pale belly is a technique shown in modern animals, usually in large flat habitats such as savannas, to make their body appear flatter to the ground. Ultimately, it was the KPG mass extinction which wiped out most of the dinosaurs on land, where only avian dinosaurs and birds survive. Still a mystery to how and why, but there is evidence of a large meteorite impact and increased volcanic activity coinciding with the disappearance of the dinosaurs. It is believed there was a large amount of ash in the atmosphere and intense wildfires caused by the impact and volcanic activity, which affected primary productivity globally, leading to die-off of the large herbivores who needed large volumes of plants to survive, and eventually the die-off of the large carnivores who hunted these herbivorous dinosaurs. Leaving a niche for the smaller birds and avian dinosaurs who are believed to have scavenged on sparse vegetation that remained and reverted towards a pescatarian based diet as the ocean fauna was not really affected. Feathers proving to be a common theme amongst the survivors who got through the KPG extinction, one of the worst mass extinctions recorded to date. A simple feather, not so simple after all.